Okay, we are going to find the third degree Taylor polynomial for tangent x at pi over 4. Here we go. Of course, we use the Taylor formula. And the good thing is we just have to get a few of them, right? n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. And that is actually enough. And the challenge for this is we have to know how to differentiate tangent really, really well. All right, let's write down f parentheses n like this with x like this. And then let's put on the Taylor formula f parentheses n. And the a value here is pi over 4. And we have to divide it by our n factorial like this. All right, so that's what we have. Again, this is the setup. Now, here we go. The first thing is just the original, which is just a tangent x and differentiating. Tangent x, we get secant square x. That's great. Well, to go from here to here, I'll show you guys the work on the side. Remember, that's the same as saying secant x to the second power. So to differentiate this, we bring the power to the front, minus 1. So we get 2 secant x to the first power, and we multiply by the derivative inside. The derivative of secant x is secant x times tangent x. So on all, we have 2 and uh, secant square x. And one more is the tangent x, like this. All right. Lastly, we have to differentiate that, right? So let me write down 2 secant square x times tangent x. Well, product rule in action. I will keep the first function right here, which is 2 secant square x times the derivative of the second. The derivative of tangent x is secant square x. Then we add the second function, which is tangent x. And we multiply by, well, I will be running out of space, so I'm just going to add it down below. We add the second function, which is tangent x, times the derivative of the first. Bring the 2 to the front, we get 4, and then secant x. But again, multiply by the derivative of secant x, which is secant x tangent x, which is very similar to this, right? And can we combine anything? Not so much, honestly. But we'll just write things down in a slightly more compact form. First, we have 2, and then secant to the fourth power x. And then we add. Here we have 4, and uh, we see the secant secant, so it's secant square x. And lastly, tangent tangent, we get tangent square x. All right, so in my opinion, it's pretty good. Well, now it's time to figure out the things. First thing first, put pi over 4 into tangent, we get 1, so that's nice. And the first one is 1 over 0 factorial, so this is actually very nice. All in all, we get 1. Great. Now, remember, secant of pi over 4 is what? Well, look back to your 45, 45, 90 triangle. This is 1, 1, square root of 2, yeah? So, secant of pi over 4 is hypotenuse over adjacent. This is square root of 2, right? But we will have to square that, so we actually end up with a 2. So we have a 2 on the top, and this is over 1 factorial. So we have the 1 factorial right here. I'll just put this on red, doesn't really matter that much. 1 factorial. And all in all, we reduce that, is equal to 2. Now, put pi over 4 in here. We already talked about this right here is 2. From here, yeah? 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Tangent of pi over 4 is 1. So this is just going to give us 4. And then we divide it by 2 factorial. And work that out, we get 2 again. So this one, you really have to just work it out nicely because it actually does not have a nice pattern, right? Lastly, well, do this one. Well, here we have 2 times square root of 2 to the 4th power is going to be 4, right? Because the square is already 2, you know, to the 4th power you get 4, and 4 times 2, so that's the first part. And then we add, this is 4, times secant square, when x is pi over 4, this is going to give us 2, and lastly, tangent of pi over 4 is 1, square that is still 1, and now this is 8 plus 8, which is 16, so we see the top is 16, but we still have to divide it by the 3 factorial. This is 6. So, all in all, 16 divided by 6, we get 8 over 3. Alright. 
So this will give us the coefficients, which is very, very nice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here, let me write down tangent of x. And this is approximately equal to, and again, this is approximate because it's just a Taylor polynomial. And the a is at pi over 4. This right here, when n is equal to 0, that's our constant term. So we have our 1. And then next, we have the 2. So we have to add 2. So we just write down plus 2. And I'll write it as times x minus, minus what? The a value, which is pi over 4. And uh, we have to square that. No, we have to raise this to the first power. Because this right here is when n is equal to 1. Continue. Plus, the next thing is, we have 2 again in blue, so I just put on a 2 right here for you guys. And uh, we have to multiply x minus, here the a is pi over 4, just write that down as that. And then we square that. Finally, we have 8 over 3, so we plus 8 over 3 in blue. And you can see my little struggle, it's 3 markers in hand, but it doesn't matter because uh, we did it. Uh, pi over 3 to what power? Third power. Close that. And this right here is it. And now have a look on the screen that for the tangent x versus the, uh, the Taylor. So now have a look on the screen. We have tangent x and also it's Taylor polynomial. Alright, so that's it.